the IRS started accepting 2019 tax returns at the end of January, and now many of us are expecting a refund to hit our bank account. And Elizabeth Scheider, certified financial planner with NCA Financial Planners, is here to share her tips for how to best utilize that deposit. Yes. And it's probably not splurging on a vacay, that's my guess. <laughs> yeah, that is the end answer. So. Oh, well, it's good to see you. Well, thank now, you. what are the top three things you should consider doing with that refund? Yeah, so number one is if you get that refund and you're sitting on credit card debt from the holidays or just you tend to sure. just always carry it, this could be a chance to break that cycle. Right. I'm going to pay off my credit cards. I'm not going to stress about it anymore. Use that refund smartly. Put it against the credit cards because mm -hmm. typically those interest rates are super high. So right. it's like we get a huge return on that deposit. So go right to the credit card first and foremost Step if there's one. debt there. Mm -hmm. Okay. Step two would be build up your emergency fund. So what if something happened to your car? Do you have enough money to cover those expenses? Uh, maybe you're not sure about your job projections. You know, the goal is to have about three months of your expenses in an emergency fund. Mm -hmm. And so if you're not quite there or you don't even have enough for an, you know one month's expenses, put it there. Yeah. Open up another account, get it out of your hands, start building that emergency fund. It's going right. to make you feel so much better. Because the thing is, is the horrible things happen, like tragedies happen, you know, I mean, simple things like cars can yeah, add up. Exactly. So that's, that's important. Okay. Mm -hmm. And then number three would be, all right, retirement savings, college savings, kind of use this as a potential long-term savings tool. So you don't need it for credit cards. You don't need it for an emergency fund. Well, how can I, you know, use that power of compounding mm -hmm. in front of me? Okay. Mm -hmm. So first and foremost, take care of that yeah. interest. <laughs> yes. That is compounding. Mm -hmm. Okay, what are the worst things that you've seen people use a refund for? Yeah, so the worst thing is just someone that says, I'm gonna ignore all my debt and I'm just gonna go splurge. You're gonna yeah. go to Starbucks, I'm gonna go on Amazon, right. I'm gonna go shopping, and so that might feel good for just a second, right. but in the end, the emotional toll that that takes on you is, is not that great, yeah. and so you really wanna be smart about it. So just splurging, number one, not okay. You at least gotta think about it. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, and because I think when you do take care of that that debt, mm -hmm. that is when you just feel that weight lifted yeah. off. Yeah, well, so. then you start to have, I heard someone once say, it's attitude money. Like, when you start to kind of build up that right. that emergency fund, that war chest, all yes. of a sudden your attitude changes towards purchasing. So, yes. Okay, yes. we want to build that, what did you call it, the warrior? No, your the, attitude your money. attitude money, yes. I like that. Yes, Okay. And so you also don't want to take that money and go gamble at the casino. That's something I've seen, and this idea of, I can turn it into more. Right. You know, these, these casinos exist for a reason. They make money. So be smart. Keep it safe so you don't want to go ahead and do that. Okay. And then last but not least, you know, big takeaway is you don't want to count on your refund every year either because it may not happen. Credits change. Interest, well, tax rates change. And so, you know, if you count on it every year for your expenses, stop doing that. You need to look at it separately. Okay. Well, these are great tips. Do you have anything else for our viewers who might be getting a decent refund back? Yeah. So I guess last but not least if you are someone that's like I really just want to splurge it it's free money in my mind instead of actually getting my own money back it's free money you know go ahead and say all right I'm gonna splurge maybe 10 to 20 percent of it on just something that I want and then this way you can say all right put the rest away put it against that credit cards and you've at least treated yourself but also done something productive I think that's a great idea even if it's like a special dinner or something exactly or, or taking your child somewhere right. fun exactly Elizabeth as always great tips thank you so much and you can get more information at ncafinancial.com. Appreciate it. This segment of It's About You was furnished by NCA Financial Planners.